Republic Day is celebrated on 26th January, which marks the historic day when the Constitution of India, which personifies democracy, social justice and equality, came into effect in the year 1950, making India a free, sovereign republic. At the Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Youth Development, the 74th Republic Day was celebrated with great fervor and gaiety. The program was inaugurated by the director, Professor Sipnan De, who unfurled the national flag. and delivered the Republic Day address. Happy Republic Day. Today is very important for every Indian because on 26th of January 1950, the Indian Constitution came into effect. Indian Constitution is the largest document which guarantee the right to every individual to live in every society with self-respect and dignity. The very spirit of Indian Constitution is equity and equality. We are grateful to all the members who worked very hard to come out with such a beautiful document under the leadership of B.R. Ambedkarji. This 26th January, the Republic Day is celebrated across the country with gel and enthusiasm. In Delhi today, the parade takes place in the Janpat where our Honorable President of India hosts the national flag, followed by showcase of Indian strength by defense personnel, national security agency, along with other organizations highlighting the cultural diversity and richness of our country. This day has a special significance for a number of other issues. One more important issue is that 1938, the then National Congress declared Purna Swaraj on the British rule. And that is one of the main reasons for choosing this day. India is celebrating 75th Independence Day, declared Aladika Amrit Mohutshav. Last year, the entire nation organized several events on the occasion of Aladika Amrit Mohutshav. Arjun White also joined hand with the national mission to celebrate the day. This year also, we are continuing various activities in the name of Aladika Amrit Mohutshav to celebrate our independence through various activities. India is becoming stronger day by day, moving fast forward with a lot of positive changes in our country, which we have been witnessing every day. India's presence in the global scenario has become very prominent. Our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, has taken various new initiatives which has given a new identity to our country at the national level, international level. The UK magazine poll declared that Narendra Modi is the most powerful leader globally based on their survey in 2019. 
and because of India's positive role at times of crisis or for various development initiatives, the G20 country has unanimously taken a decision to give the lead role to India for one year to talk about development issues, economic reform in the least developing countries, developing countries and islands across the world. It is very important to choose the right team for such a global initiative and our Honorable Prime Minister choose a very beautiful theme for G20 Presidency that is Vashudeva Kutumbakam. One Earth, One Family and One Future. It signifies universal oneness, togetherness, belongingness. I am sure the global community will be moved by such a beautiful theme of our country. And this quote has been taken from Maha Upanishad. It says that our Indian culture tradition is very strong, which are highly relevant in today's context. The objective of G20 Presidency is to discuss and deliver it among 20 leaders of 20 countries about development issues, economic reform, bilateral relationships, to create a better society for everybody's happy and peaceful living. As you know, the inner meaning of Vashudeva Kutumbakam is to ensure a comfortable place for everyone living. It is not only for human beings, animals, plants, it is also about the microorganism to ensure biodiversity such a beautiful thing. It means we value the life of every living being for creating a better society. And that is very important when the global is crisis, global community is experiencing various crises in the form of pandemic, economic crisis, conflict between the countries. At the national level, the number of schemes which are taken by our central government benefited a large number of population, especially the people from marginalized communities. I would like to mention two such important schemes. Pradhan Mantri Garib Arna Jojana, Pradhan Mantri Avarshan Jojana, which benefited a large number of marginalized population. It is very important for us that we make minimum facilities for everyone comfortable living on this planet. That initiative has been taken. In addition, there are many more initiatives which make every Indian happy that our government is concerned about welfare and well-being of everyone. Dear friends, today is a day we need to remember the sacrifice as well as struggle of our ancestors. Because of that struggle, today we are enjoying the freedom. They did not mind to come out of their home, fight against the British rule, suffered a lot. Now it is our responsibility to pay our homage to those freedom fighters and the people who sacrifice their life and play a very meaningful and responsible role in the society to create a better environment. It is within us. We can create a very comfortable society where everyone will have a place to live peacefully. Our Honorable Prime Minister again mentioned that the G20 Presidency will be exercising on inclusive, action-oriented and decision policy. Again, it shows the farsightness and concern for global community. Dear friends, let us all join hand together with our central government, our respective state governments to implement various schemes and policies which, will, which is going to benefit everyone in the society. As a citizen of a nation, it is our responsibility 
And whenever we are working, we need to devote our time and work hard so that we can make a difference in our workplace. At Arjun YG, we have been working hard. I congratulate all my colleagues, teaching, non-teaching, support staff and others for working hard continuously for development of the institute. If I focus on development of the institute, which is going to benefit our students who are the end beneficiary of academic institution, it means we join hand with the government for institute building and in turn it leads to national building. Let us remain committed to achieve the long term objective of our nation. Of our, nation. our Honorable Prime Minister stated that by 2047 India should become self-reliant and I am confident that if you all work together we can become self-reliant by 2047. Once again I thank everyone, my colleagues, students, all support staff for joining and in celebrating 74th Republic Day of our country, India. Thank you. Jai Hind. It was a grand occasion reminding us of the far-sighted vision and invaluable sacrifices of our great leaders for a united, inclusive and prosperous India. And trolling the audience on the occasion, a number of cultural events on the theme National Harmony and Social Justice were performed by the family members, students and staff of the institute. celebration concluded with the distribution of certificates of appreciation to all the performers by the director. <laughs>